Hello everybody, my name is Spudavane, and welcome to Don't Starve. Welcome back, actually, because I did used to play this a little bit, uh, but I've started a new world uh, on my new computer, and, you know, I just want to see how it goes. So, uh, welcome again to Don't Starve, where I pretty much only barely know what I'm doing, and hopefully you can uh, stick with me. For this little adventure and hopefully we won't die on the first week so if you don't know what this game is basically the objective is don't starve uh, as the name implies and essentially you have to go around and gather resources uh, survive the night and survive all the different seasons the difference with that is uh, I edited the world just a little bit for there to be more uh, berry bushes and also no winter, so it's going to be summer for this entire playthrough. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'll change it eventually. I'm sure I will. Uh, let's see. Let's make some tools. Let's do that. Yes, I will. I will eventually do winter. Uh, considering I do this playthrough for that long, but uh, I don't know. Just doing. Doing it in summer makes me feel like uh, we can live a lot longer, <laughs> considering summer is fairly easy to go through, uh, whereas winter is like you have to stay warm at all times, and you have to make sure that you're not murdered by any uh, giant cyclops. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm just going to pick some grass, get some berries, and explore the world. Really, which I'm going to zoom out. Alright. So I've forgotten how to play this a little bit. It's been a little while since I've played this. Uh, hopefully we'll figure it out along the way. I need a fire before nighttime. I know that you're okay until the hand gets in the blue up here. Um, let's see, what else is there to remember? Ah uh, yes, the percentage on my axe. That'll go down. I need to get more flint for a better fire. And I also need to get stone. So I need flint for a pickaxe. We'll do that first. Alright, I need some flint. Let's see, and I believe there's a map. Yes, there is. Alright. Here's some rocks. No flint, though. There's that. So what that touchstone is, is if I die, I can go to that and come back. I believe. I'm not entirely certain I'm remembering that correctly. Uh, you know, the way this ro little brick road goes, it reminds me of my old playthrough. <laughs> Which, if you haven't seen that, you can watch it if you want to. I don't necessarily recommend it, though. <laughs> so I didn't really get that far, and I kind of went insane. So yeah, it's not, it's not the best of times. It's not the worst of times. Certainly not the best. All right, I need one more piece of flint, and then I can make a pickaxe. All right, hey wormhole, what's up, buddy? I don't want to go down there yet. Keyword yet. All right, let's eat some carrots. All right. And I can roast things, I can cook things. Probably most of you have not seen my previous playthrough. But for those of you who have, I'm sorry, but the first couple episodes are going to be slow for you. Uh, <laughs> most likely. I don't know, you might enjoy them. Can I attack this butterfly? Yeah. No, okay. Don't have the speed right now, I don't have the drop on him. Alright, let's go back to those giant boulders over there. Alright, now I want to plant some trees, but not too many, because I don't want that big guy to come around. Yes, there are monsters in this game, and they will kill you. <laughs> also, I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark in my room. It is like 11 p.m., and I only have this one light. And uh, no overhead lights or anything like that, because this house is super freaking old. So let's make a pickaxe and not worry about my problems. 
I believe, yeah, they give you flint. Nice. Now, I don't need this nitrite. Um, it's actually really not useful at all. So I'm going to skip out on that. Seeds are helpful, though. Seeds will definitely be useful. Bum, 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 bum. And yeah, sometimes you'll see me click on things, sometimes you'll see me just use uh, spacebar. Uh, it's... Really, you can do it either way. It does not matter. I'll probably actually make a base somewhere around here, considering there's a lot of uh, materials and stuff like that. Seems like a good place to be. And that touchstone in case I die. So let's go ahead and make a fire. I can't make a permanent one yet. That's alright. Woo! Let's feed the fire. That should last me through the night. Alright. I'll go ahead and mine out a couple more of these rocks. And head back to the fire. So real quick, I'm going to demonstrate something to you guys. Uh, yeah. So if you set anything flammable beside a fire, or anywhere near a fire, really, it will catch fire. And also, if I stand near this too long, I won't catch fire. Uh, however, I will... I will start to burn up and uh, it'd be extremely warm. I don't know if, it, if the fire has to be like a certain size for that to happen or if it's just not that warm, but it's not happening. That might be a thing that's only available and don't starve together. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. There are a lot of uh, things in Don't Starve Together that don't really happen in this game. Don't Starve Together is really fun, though. If you guys haven't played it and you have friends that have it, you should definitely play it with them. Really fun. Alright, let's see. I need to eat. Let's roast a couple carrots. I'll only roast two for now. I'll, I'll roast a third one. There we go. Alright, what do I need to do now? I have a lot of materials. I guess I should just start getting a base going? Let's do that. Let's, let's explore up here real quick, and then we'll get a base going. Let's just fill in our map a little bit. Make sure we get all that tasty goodness. That way we know where the things are. Alright, I'm just gonna do the outskirts for now and we can uh, do the insides later. Alright, we have a graveyard up here. So it seems. There's some gold and whatnots. Alright. Nice little graveyard right there. See you later, buddy. We can actually dig up graves, which I will be doing later. Honestly, this first episode is mainly just collecting materials and exploring, so it's not... The... It, it's not... I don't know how to word it. It's not the, the easiest thing to commentate over. <laughs> There's not really much to talk about. Um, what is something I can talk about? My spaghetti video. Uh, if you guys saw that yesterday, I think this is coming out the next day. It should be. Um, if you guys saw that, what'd you think? <laughs> Pretty random, right? You can blame All-Star for that one, mostly. I really don't know who came up with the idea first, uh, or if it was just both of us as a collaborative effort. Uh, that's what I would like to think, at least. Um, and that's what I'm going to say it was, but I honestly don't really know. <laughs> It it really could have been either one of us. We're very random people. So, let's see. It looks like I made a snake up through here. <laughs> let's snake our way back down and make a base. Um, what I really need to do is make a permanent fire pit. And then start, I guess, making uh, science stuff. Make some sciencey things along the way. The best thing about having a full map is just knowing, like, Okay, I need rocks. Okay, look at all these rocks. Or I need spiders. Look at all these spiders. Or, you know, just something like that. <clears throat> just whatever sources you need, you can um, 
look at them on the map, find out where they're at, and then go to them. Also, I'm going to turn it down for you guys, but this is really loud in my ear, and it is almost completely all the way down, uh, the sound. It is very loud. <laughs> and I even have my computer volume at like 30, so, out of 100. It's, it's not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I don't know why these earbuds are so loud, but I really need some headphones. Just so I can uh, not have to deal with this anymore. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Let's see, spawn was like here. I can't mark anything. Um, I'm just going to make my base like on this road. That way I know where it is. And I can just follow the road home. Let's do that. Let's make it like right here is a good place. I don't think I need to place my uh, fire just yet. Make my science machine. I can make a backpack. Let's do that. Alright, tools. I can make a shovel. Don't really need to. Don't need a pitchfork. Don't need a razor. I am clean shaven. Although, I have really, I have really dark bags on the side of my eyes. Either that, or he just has really weird eye sockets. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see, I know we can make a chest at some point. I need boards. Alright, yeah, now now is when we get to uh, creating stuff. Boards. Let's go chop down some trees. I still have my trusty axe here. Some bees around. That's good. These will be useful later. Not so much right now. Again, this is literally the beginning of the game. Really nothing is useful right now. Alright, we'll plant some trees and get a little uh, tree farm going, if you will. And hopefully, those will grow pretty soon. Also, I'm eerie of these evil flowers being around. I know that's only like the second one that I've seen so far, at least that I've paid attention to. But still, it's concerning a little bit. Not sure what else we can find out here. I need a new axe. Alright, let's go ahead and place our fire. It's about that time anyway. It's literally like right at that time. Let's go ahead and do that. And I have really nothing to fuel this with that I'm willing to get rid of besides maybe this. Alright, great. This is a wonderful start, already having not a whole lot of stuff to fuel the fire with. I thought I was doing pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Alright, um, now the fire in the fire pit doesn't really expand that much, so I don't have to worry about it burning a whole lot of nearby stuff. Uh, so if I place, like, I don't know, these twigs, like, right there. I'm not gonna prove it, because I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try it. We'll just see what happens. Because I'm actually curious now. I've made myself curious. Also, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I'm gonna cook these berries. I'll cook all of them. Why not? Might as well. Also, I don't know why the moon is not out. It should be. I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> Guess we'll figure that one out later. Alright, yeah, these twigs don't seem to be burning, so I think we're good. Oh, and the game is saving, and you know what? After day two, I believe that is a good place to end this episode. I know it was, uh... Not much happened, but it's been about 15 minutes, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, and you're excited for this series, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.